Now we're going to talk about step two in the process of designing your own design patterns and this is the veto design pattern that we're going to be constructing. It's a sample design pattern and step two is the motivation step. This is the step where you have to provide the motivation behind the design pattern in order to get your design pattern accepted by design pattern catalogs online. So here's the veto design pattern and this is the way it works. You have, you check for a veto in your core code by sending a message through various encapsulated links and if any of those links vetoes the message then the process does not continue and if those links do not veto the design pattern the process does continue so that's the idea behind the veto design pattern so the motivation is the that's the step we're working on now is the motivation step you have to provide motivation for the, your design pattern when it comes time to design to submit your design pattern to the the pattern catalogs and so the motivation step is a concrete example not just an abstract example but a concrete example showing how the design pattern is useful what it can be helpful for and how it can be used. So this motivation step is a concrete example, not an abstract example. This is the motivation step. The motivation step, for example, for the veto design pattern might say something like this, motivation. You're in charge of a missile launch system and that three separate mission critical components must confirm a missile launch before it happens. If those components are part of a monolithic program, they can be interwoven in unexpected ways, and the result is that unclear code may launch missiles when they shouldn't be launched. For maximum clarity of action, separate out the components that will decide the missile launch and chain them as encapsulated list, each one of which must agree to the launch in succession before it can occur. So that is the motivation for the veto design pattern. Now, motivation sounds like an abstract discussion, but in fact it's not. Motivation is going to be a concrete example. So once again, we are working on the second step of the veto design pattern catalog entry in the design pattern catalogs. This is a sample design pattern, not really implemented in the world. First, you check for a veto. You send your message through the various links, encapsulated links, and this is the motivation step, and the motivation step is step two out of the ten steps you need to submit a, a design pattern with to get it accepted by a design pattern catalog, and this is the motivation. The motivation is a concrete example, an applied example showing how your design pattern works. So this is not an abstract example in terms of theory, but a concrete example in terms of actual application. And in this case, the design pattern motivation is going to be an example. You're in charge of a missile launch system. Three separate mission critical components must confirm a missile launch before it happens. And that's the idea here. So we're making a very concrete example out of this, a missile launch system. And that is going to fall in nicely when it's time to draw a schematic for our veto design pattern. You check for a veto, you have the various links, and each one of those links can veto the actual missile launch. So that example is a good one. It shows you precisely why this design pattern is useful and in what kind of circumstance it is useful. So that's the that is the motivation step. That's the step number two in this discussion. And we're going to continue on with the creation of this design pattern next, coming up next, and we're going to continue on creating the catalog entry for the video design pattern, but that was the motivation step. That is the step that shows you what is the actual motivation behind the design pattern with a concrete example.